just like everyday life, uh, things on the street. You know, I see it on Twitter all the time and people absolutely kill it. And I think it kind of holds me back and not getting out and shooting that stuff. So what this YouTube channel's done for me is it's gotten me out. Uh, it's got me out and about shooting a lot of things I wouldn't have shot. Not because I, I don't want to. I want to shoot these things. I want to get better as a photographer. Uh, but because I, I was always scared to. I never went out and did it. I always used like working on projects or only shooting uh, portraits or on hunts, uh, those type of things. That's the only time I would bring the camera out. I wouldn't ever just take it and go on photo walks, this and that. Uh, but with this YouTube channel, it's helped me a lot get out and do that. You know, it's pushed me to get out and do those things, to document those things, to show how I'm growing as a photographer. Because in the past, I haven't been good about just getting out and shoot, just shooting whatever, you know, finding beauty in the everyday things, not just these uh, massive moments, but finding beauty everywhere. So what I did here uh, this past fall, I just went on a couple photo walks down in downtown Augusta. You know, I just wanted to kind of go out, not put myself in a box, not give myself any limits. I just wanted to go out, walk, take pictures of fall, downtown Augusta. Whatever I saw that I liked, just shoot it. And that's partially why I wanted to do it with digital camera. Because I just wanted to shoot and not have to worry about 36 frames and getting lost and finding this perfect, perfect picture, which I think I do a lot of times. I think I get lost in like, trying to find the perfect composition, this and that, which is good. Like you need to be critical and you need to try to take good pictures, but I need to find like the happy balance of like taking good pictures, but also just taking what I think looks good and not having, you know, 36 frames or 10 frames and limiting me to that. So for, for these two days, I just wanted to go out and not worry about that. And just, I just wanted to shoot, you know, whatever, people, cars, buildings, murals, whatever, I just wanted to shoot. I still don't think I took as many photos as I should have. I should have taken a lot more photos. I was still a little critical in my head. I didn't really let myself go. Uh, so that's something I need to work on in the future when I do these photo walks, is just like letting go and just like, just taking pictures. You know, almost like back when I first started taking pictures, you know, when I didn't understand lighting, didn't understand composition. I didn't understand anything. The only thing I understand was like, that looks cool. I want to take that picture. Usually I don't get to go out with my like SL2S uh, for things like this because it's my video camera. So it's usually sitting on the tripod and I'm videoing everything. But I had a second body. Uh, I rented a second body for a wedding I had to shoot. So I, that was like the perfect opportunity to take the SL2S uh, with a 35 millimeter to just go out and shoot. You know, just take downtown Augusta and walk and just take as much time I, as I needed and shoot as many photos as I wanted to shoot. So the second day we went, I went, I took the Q2, I had a meet down in Augusta, and I noticed the leaves had uh, changed colors, you know, they're just pretty yellow. It was almost too good not to shoot, so I didn't have as much time as I did with the first photo walk, but I grabbed the Q2 and I just went out and started shooting some more images, and I really love the Q2 for things like this, because it's light, you know, it's kind of in inconspicuous, people aren't looking at you with this big camera, this bulky camera. Plus the Q2 just inspires me to shoot. And I believe, like, I truly believe gear doesn't matter. Like, you can take just as good of pictures with the Q2 
as you can an X100V, as you can a film point and shoot camera. Anything that inspires you, you know, like what gets you out to shoot is what you should use or like best tool for the job. And in this case, best tool for this job is what inspires me.